I have recently seen this cool animation used by BreatheApp. Let's try to recreate this in Blender using geometry nodes. The shape is a bunch of triangles instanced along a circle and spheres on the triangles. Twisted like a Mobius strip and animated. Without any further ado, let's get started. Open up Blender. Make sure you're in version 3.0 or above. Head onto the Geometry Nodes tab, and I'm replacing the first tab to insert our reference image. Go into the top view, select the default cube, and click on New to assign a geometry node to the object. Add a curved circle as the base object. You can control the resolution and radius of the circle here. Add an instance on Points node. I'm using an icosphere to visualize the points. Scale it down. We can control the number of points by changing the resolution of the circle. Now, duplicate the curved circle and set the resolution to 3 to create a triangle instance. Add a line Euler to vector node and input curve tangent node into the vector socket to align the triangles along the curve. The alignment is working for the x and y axis, but it is doing some weird tilt on the z axis which is our desired one. This could be a bug. I will add a transform node and change the rotation values beforehand to fix this. Now I will place the spheres onto the triangles by adding another instance on points node and scaling it down. You can see the spheres are instanced on the three vertices of our base triangle, so we need to resample the triangle curve to add more points by adding a resample curve node. Make them 12 like our reference image. Here I'm calculating the number of triangular segments we need, and there are 36 of them. Update the value on our initial circle. The next step is to twist the base circle. Add a vector math before the rotation input. By changing the x-axis values, we can make this motion to our shape, but we need to twist the curve. I'm using a spline parameter node and plugging in the factor value to draw the twist. Multiplying the factor by 2 pi gives us a full rotation. And the addend value drives the total animation. Our animation is ready at this point. I'm tweaking the shape a little to match the reference image by changing the properties of both curves. Add a screen time node to drive the animation with time, and a math node multiply to control the speed of the animation. I'm changing the world color and intensity, and giving the object a quick reflected material. Don't forget to add a set material node to assign the material to the object. Add set shade smooth node. I'm experimenting with different world and material properties to get some interesting result. This is the final rendered animation. I hope you guys liked the video. Please stay subscribed for more Blender tutorials.